Hello, Dream Movement Katie family. I'm Paige Adams. And I'm Kieran Adams. And we're so excited to be with y'all this Sunday. Um, we are going to be doing week two of our Ascension series. Jason and Jennifer started it last week, last Sunday. Um, and so we're super excited to continue the conversation. Like I said, we're going to continue the conversation on the topic in the word Ascension. Um, I'm super excited about this because um, it's something that has been just in our spirits and in our hearts for a while. We've been thinking on this word for some time. And we really feel like um, it's just timely for us to release it and share with y'all what the Lord has been teaching us um, in the space of ascension. So I'm going to pass it to you. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, I will say I'm going to start out with this definition of ascension um, is the process of rising. Um, I think this is something that uh, when I was just spending time with God and really asking him what to share about. The process of rising kept coming up and um, he kind of gave me some revelation that I, I wanted to share. Uh, just this thought, this idea and understanding that ascend, ascending to a place uh, isn't really a thing because we have already been seated with God the Father. Mm. Um, and what I mean by that is when God ascended on high and as his children were seated there, we are already, we've already ascended. Hmm. Um, I believe that what's happening now is the process of rising is happening to where our habits, our behaviors, our mindsets are ascending to where we already sit. Hmm. Um, and I think that's the key piece uh, in Ascension that the revelation that I received, that God was just showing me that, hey, you've already ascended to this place. It's just your habits, your behaviors, your belief, and your mindsets that are actually catching up to the place that you already are. Because um, oftentimes we think that, oh, we have to get to this place or be at a particular uh, ranking or position to... Uh, be seen right by God even uh, sometimes. But the truth is, if you've already dreamt these places and you already see yourself there, then it's just the physical manifestation that is mm -hmm. catching up with what's already been done spiritually. Mm -hmm. And okay. so, yeah, so that's something that I was like, ooh, God, this is different. <laughs> Where I'm hearing it like, okay, I'm already seated in, in these places. It's just, the mindsets, the habits, and my belief in what's already there. Like when God created me, he created me with everything. There isn't anything that I actually lack. But what I do lack, if I don't believe in myself, if I don't uh, have proper habits of certain things, then I won't get to those places. It's like working a muscle. You can, your body is your body. You just build muscles on top of it like your body structure is your body structure your body structure may change some you may get bulkier or whatever but your body is your body the foundation of you doesn't change it's the muscles and things begin to pop out and they begin to show more they become more defined but it's defined based upon what's already there and that that's the shift in ascending and what I believe God was just sharing. It was just like, it's not that I'm, I have to ascend to this position or ascend, mm. ascend to this place. I already, I'm already there. It's just my belief, my mindsets, my habits catching up to where God already has me seated. Mm. That's so good. That's so good. Um, it's funny because we were having a conversation today <laughs> um, with two people that, um, we love very much. And we were talking about this idea of like, um, you know, in the corporate world or in this world of um, work, even in church, just um, in places where there's, you know, systems and processes, we, um, we see this kind of idea of like climbing the ladder, right, of going from one position to the next, that increase in pay, that increase in uh, responsibility, that increase in um, 
visibility, right? Or what feels like maybe status as well. And so this is kind of the system that we see um, in our culture, right? Of um, raising your status, getting to a higher place. Um, and what we were talking about today was that, um, you know, as you can climb this ladder of success, the place that feels like the bottom and the place that feels like the top, once you get to the top, it doesn't, um, it doesn't feel any better. Like the, the success and the greatness that you thought you were going to feel, um, is very momentary and very fleeting. Right. And so this idea of kind of climbing the ladder, um, can feel like, tempting at first, but can really in the end leave us very depleted, very um, unfulfilled, and still kind of in the same place that we were um, at the beginning of our process of trying to climb the ladder. And so the amazing thing about the Lord that I've really come to understand in a deeper way over the past couple years is there's no climbing the ladder with God. Um, I don't have to get to a certain place. And for a very long time, I felt that way. I felt like I needed to do X, Y, and Z to just be a better Christian or to be, um, more valuable to God, more used by God, um, things like that. And so, you know, even in um, our modern church culture, we, ha we do have a system of hierarchy, right? Which, um, you know, the pastor or the executive pastor, all, you know, there is a system of hierarchy. And for a very long time, I felt like, well, the pastor must be kind of like better than the other people, right? Or, um, you know, they're in a higher ranking than, than the other people below them, much like any corporation or business. And so I spent many years with kind of that mindset, um, with a mindset of becoming better, of um, climbing this invisible ladder. That was the reality is yeah. there actually wasn't a real ladder for me to climb because I wasn't in a corporation or anything like that. But in my mind, there was always this kind of like, next pl place I needed to get to, like to be better or to be more qualified or to be a better Christian. And then I just really began to dive deep into this understanding with the Lord, exactly like Kieran is explaining that um, I'm already seated in Christ. Like I don't earn that. I don't like do enough good deeds or, you know, not sin enough yeah. to be seated in Christ, I've already ascended and I'm seated in him, right? At his right hand. And, and I didn't have to do anything to get there. That's the most beautiful part is when he ascended, right? I, am, I ascended with him. My spirit yeah. ascended with him. I didn't have yeah. to do anything no matter how many good works or how much I do isn't going to change my position in Christ. And so I, I was released from this idea that I needed to do better or do more to gain status or gain, um, good gain, you know, God seeing me from a certain place when I understood that all of his children are seated in him, no matter what, like no matter who they are, what they've done, like it's, it's who we are as sons and daughters that transformed everything for me because I try, I stopped trying so hard and I, the exhaustion left and the performance left. And I got to, as scripture says, you know, I'm seated in Christ. And I began to live from that place of being seated, mm. of being in rest. So that's the thing. Like your position in Christ is actually one that is seated. It's, it's a position of rest. But many of us exhaust ourselves trying to do more and be better 
and just not sin anymore. And we're actually not living from our position, which is a position of being seated in him, the highest place you can be. Your, your, your spirit has already ascended to the highest place that it can be. There's nowhere, there's nowhere higher you can be. There's, there's nowhere better you can get. But like Kieran is saying, here on earth, as we're in our bodies and as we've experienced different things, we've had different experiences, we've been told different things, um, all of that, our bodies and our mind and our mindsets and our habits, like he was saying, are, are on a journey right, of being renewed, they're on a journey of coming in alignment with who we already are. So we know that we're seated in Christ, right? That's the position that we have, but our mindsets and our body and, and, you know, the, the hurt places of us are on a journey and a process of, of alignment, right? Of really, of really, like you said, believing what we already are. It's just a matter of believing it. Like the position never changes. It's just a matter of us being awakened to it. Yeah. Like it's a process of awakening, of realizing, oh, wow. Like I've, I'm seated in Christ. Like I don't have to do anything else to earn this. It can't be taken away. Yeah. And I couldn't earn it. That's the thing is like, none of us earned being seated in Christ. It was a free gift given to us by what Jesus did on the cross. And so no matter what I do, it just, it doesn't change being seated. And so, you know, like he said, like we've already ascended in spirit, right? And as we're here on earth, it's just a matter of a process of renewing our mind and really believing what Christ says about us. Um, it's our, it's all already there. It's just a matter of being awakened to it and really at the root of it, believing it, yeah. believing what he says. I think this, this thought uh, just kind of came to me as you were sharing um, is ascension in, in its truest form. Ascension is the physical manifestation of what you of where you're spiritually seated Mm. i'm gonna say that again ascension is the physical manifestation of where you're spiritually seated and what that means (laughs) is the places in your mind the things that you think about the way that you see yourself is where you're seated it's the belief that you have all of those spaces, that's where you're seated. Um, there's there's a, uh, I would say there's a group uh, that we're a part of and uh, coaching that we're a part of. And it's all about belief and self, belief in who you are as a person. And I truly believe in, and I'm beginning to really understand is how you see yourself is where you see yourself. Mm. How you see yourself is where you see yourself. Um, and if I do not see myself as seated with God, the father doesn't mean that I'm not there, but it does mean that I'll only ascend to the level in which I believe. And that's the shift for many people. If we, we really don't believe that we're seated <laughs> with, with God, the father, we really don't believe that we're able to ascend to these places, right? In, in the physical manifestation of these places that we sit spiritually. If we, if we call ourselves and, and we see ourselves as being the boss in the spirit, right? We see ourselves there. Your ascension will happen physically mm-hmm. by what's already being seen and where you sit spiritually. So that means if my thoughts, if my mindsets and all of those things if I see myself as being a boss, that means my mindset is, is thinking as, as a CEO, not thinking as as the person cleaning the toilets or not caring about, you know what I mean? Not, not caring about the little things as the leader. You know what I mean? It's where you see yourself that is so right. important uh, when it really comes good. to ascension. So yeah, that's, that's the little I part that. I wanted to share. I love that. You know, as you were talking, I had kind of this visual 
that I want to share. It's a visual that I, I myself actually, um, saw and lived in for a very long time. And I think it's going to resonate with a lot of people. You know, a lot of times when we think of God, we think of, um, of like, here's big God and here I am, Mm -hmm. right? Like, here's this big controlling, all knowing God. Mm -hmm. And here I am this kind of like little spot here here (laughs) of like all the millions of people. (laughs) Sorry, I'm coming. No, you're good. (laughs) Here's the big God. And then like, here I am. (laughs) And I want to adjust that visual with you for what scripture actually says, what the truth of God's word is, which I want to, I want to read it to y'all. In Ephesians 2, it says, and God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. I'm going to say that again. And God raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus, right? So that's that ascension. The ra- He raised us up with Christ and seated us with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. Mm-hmm. So the ascension is done. They're talking about it right here. God raised us up with Christ, ascended us with Christ and seated us with him with him when i'm with somebody i'm next to somebody yeah i'm close to somebody so the the transformation of the visual that i want you to flip to is this kind Mm. of visual with you and god which is so hard for some of us and for some of us it's going to feel like blasphemy but that's the truth the truth is it's not a big god and you're this little speck down here It's as scripture is saying, we are seated with him, with him in Christ. We are co-partners. We are next to one another. We get to work with God. That's how he sees you. That's his view of you. It's not here looking down on you as this small part of this big world. No, 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 no. It's you and him side by side, Mm. co-partners in your life to bring about your purpose, vision, the plans that he has for you. This is how close you are. Mm. This is your seat. This is where you ascended to when Christ went to the cross. The free gift that's been given to you that you couldn't earn, you still can't earn, and you can't do more for. This is your position. And so I want us to flip that visual of this. This is you in Christ. Because I believe that this visual will empower you and will show you just how close you are to him. Because some of us, I think, feel so separated, so separated. And when you really need flip your mind to what the truth says about being seated in him. It's like, whoa, I'm right with him. I'm right with him together. So (laughs) I hope that encourages someone. I really hope that encourages someone just your viewpoint, right? Like your viewpoint matters. Yeah. Where do you view yourself? You know, in him is so important. And the reality is you're as close as you can be. You're as high as you can be. You can't get any higher. Good. You're as close as you can be. You're as high as you can be. And when you realize that you're going to stop trying so hard effort and performance and all of that will cease and you will just sit and rest from the position that you already obtain already have it yeah yeah 
Do you have anything else? I, know? I think that is, I think that's it. Uh, I, I, I think really what you said is just, yeah, there is, there is no far from God. Hmm. And the, to really think, when I really think about it, you're only far from God when you think you're far, but mm. there is no far from God. Mm. That's powerful. That is insane to really think about it and process it. Like, whoa, you're you're not. You can't be. If you're seated like this, I can only get closer. I can't. I can't get any. There's no. Oh, I'm far. No, you're here. This is one. Mm-hmm. This is joint air. This is what that looks like. Yeah. Yeah. One thing I think about too, that I've just seen over the past few years is like, like, I know that I'm already seated in Christ. Like that's my position, but what still is ascending is my mindset. Yeah. That's good. Is my perspective, Mm -hmm. right? Like my identity and my position in Christ doesn't change, but what is changing and ascending constantly and becoming higher and gaining higher perspective is that is my mindset is my perspective is how I see things all of those things are still ascending gaining higher perspective and really what I've come to understand is that it just means that like my my awareness level, how I see things, my mindsets is just um, increasing to the place that God sees them. Yeah. Like coming to the place in which like he sees and he thinks. And, And because how many of us know like our thoughts a lot of times are not, you know, in alignment with what he thinks about us or our perspective on situations we can't always we're not always thinking you know from um his perspective and so one of the things that I've really been on a journey of and really challenged myself in is raising and all of those things ascending to his belief like his belief in me his thoughts of me his perspective Perspective of a situation rather than my current one um, that can sometimes be limited, right? But what I've seen happen um, as I remain rooted in, in my position in Christ, in that belief that I'm already seated here, my mindsets are rising to it. So like my, my, my spirit and my position is here. And now it's just a journey of my mindset my perspectives, my awareness, how I see myself, others, and situations rising to meet it. I'm here and it's not going to change. My position in Christ is not changing, but what is still ascending is my mindsets, all of those things, my perspectives, how I see it, that is ascending. And that has been the most fun journey over the past few years, I had been so challenged in how I see things. Um, first myself, others, um, but, but really most recently for me, it's been like situations. Like when I see something or I think something's going wrong, right? Or um, I don't understand something that's happening. Instead of like assuming that it's doomsday or that I know, I seek God for his perspective on a situation because when I seek him for his perspective I will only find goodness so instead of looking at my situation and kind of you know I'm my 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 spirit is here but like my mindset in the situation is like here I seek him for perspective to raise it to the place that he sees from so that's the journey I'm on is is constantly challenging myself to see from his lens, from how he sees. Because when I do that, all I find is a trail of goodness Mm -hmm. and gold and purpose. That's all I find. And so that's a habit that I've really kind of 
like acquired really you like he's the one that really kind of taught me that that was something that he was doing in his life and um I've really tried to implement that in my life and it's completely transformed um how I view things and more importantly how I view God and just him being a good good father that that has nothing but good things in store for me even when it doesn't feel it um it's always good and so um just that reminder that you are seated in Christ as his son um or daughter but our mindsets and our habits and our perspectives and how we see things is on a journey of ascending and i think um the the beautiful hope and the beautiful truth is that it can get there. It can get there. You know, we can see with the eyes of God and we can think the way that God thinks. It is, it is possible. It is possible. It's just a journey. Couldn't have said it better <laughs> myself. Oh, that'd be so good. Yeah, it, and that's, I think that's the biggest reminder is that this is all a journey. Ascend, ascending in mindset perspective is something that you will always be working on. Right. There isn't a plateau where, oh, I get there and now I'm here. No, it's it's a day by day, moment by moment, <laughs> really even, where situation by situation, where you continuously ascend with your perspective, your mindset your beliefs even in, in different areas of your life. So be encouraged that it is a journey of ascension and it's not just something that you get to. Yeah. So good. Yeah. So good. Well, we hope that you are encouraged <laughs> by what we shared today um, and that you are just reminded of the love of God yeah. um, and where you are currently seated um, in him in Christ um, and are reminded that that's never changing. That's where you sit today as you listen, tomorrow as you maybe go to work um, and as you could just continue on. That is your position. That is your seat. Yeah. Um, and it's secure. It's yeah, secure. Okay. Um, it's secure. It's not going anywhere. I think someone someone needs to hear that. There's in life, everything's you know can feel like it's changing all the time. But the one thing that's never going to change is your position in Christ. Your seat in Christ yeah. um, is always there. Yeah. It is always there. It's never changing. Um, so we hope that this encourages you, that it comforts you, that it gives you a sense of um, just peace yeah. and stability. Um, I'm going to pray for us. Pray so. Yeah. Okay. Lord, thank you so much for just this opportunity to share um, what you've been showing us, what you've been teaching us on this journey of understanding ascension mm -hmm. of our mindsets, perspectives, um, how we see ascending, God, that has been our journey. That's been our reality the past couple of years. And we thank you for getting to share that um, with everybody today. We just pray that these words would hit every space inside of your sons and daughters that is needed, that is unique unique to them. We know that um, as we share this word, that it resonates in each unique, in each unique part of them, God. Um, and so we pray that it, um, that it does, it pierces those places that it needs to pierce and that the words that are spoken, anything that needs, um, you know, to just stick with somebody throughout their week, throughout the month, Lord, that that would be so God, that they would be reminded of the words spoken tonight, that it would um, be something that they can hold on to, God, that they can hold on to, that they can cling to. We we just pray that um, that they would they would hold on to and cling to the security that they have in Christ. That when when things um, don't feel secure, that they can cling to the security they have in Christ, their position in Christ that is never changing, that is never going anywhere. God, we pray that you would remind them of that when times get tough, when things seem uncertain. Um, we pray that you would just remind them of that and just help them um, to be reminded of the security they have in you, God. We thank you for that. We thank you for the security we have in you, that you are unchanging, never changing. God, we thank you for that, Lord. We pray um, every person that's listening, God, that you would just give a piece to their heart that you would give the, re the revelation that is needed, God, and that you um, 
yeah, that you would just solidify that in their hearts and in their minds. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 All right, guys. Well, um, next Sunday, we will be continuing the Ascension series um, with another part of our Dream Movement team. And so you can tune in next Sunday, same time at Mm -hmm. 11 a.m. on Facebook Live. And so we'll be continuing for part three of Ascension. So be sure to tune in, share it with a friend. Um, Thank y'all for tuning in. We enjoyed being with y'all and we hope you have a great rest of your Sunday. Yeah, happy Sunday. Bye. Bye.